Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. Welcome back, horse racing enthusiasts. Today, we have a fascinating story to share with you about one of the most exceptional grade one horses, and I think one of the most underrated grade one horses in recent history. Join me as we dive into the thrilling tale of Skip Away, a true legend in the world of horse racing. Skip Away, born in 1993, was an American thoroughbred race horse who captured the hearts of millions with his extraordinary talent and determination. Throughout his career, he consistently proved to be one of the best in the game, and I was actually blessed and was able to witness this horse run in person at one of the Ohio Derbies back in the late 1990s. What I believe set Skip Away apart from other racehorses was his incredible versatility and longevity. He competed in races from sprints to longer distances, showcasing his ability to really dominate on any track. Of course, behind every great racehorse, there is a great team. Jockey Mike Smith and trainer Sony Hine played an instrumental role in Skip Away's success. Their bond with the horse and understanding of his unique traits were the keys to their victories. Now, let's talk about his impressive record. Skip Away competed in 38 grade one races, winning 12 of them, and finishing in the top three in astounding 33 times. This consistency and dominance at the highest level is really what sets him apart. And just compare that to the grade one champions, excuse me, of the modern era, where we're lucky to see some of these horses even race beyond their three-year-old season and continue on that grade one winning success. I mean, look at recently retired stud Flightline, who only raced half a dozen times. And yes, he retired undefeated. Yes, he won by great margins. But what could that horse have really done if he was allowed to continue racing, at least to his four-year-old season, five-year-old season, so on and so forth? It's one thing about the modern day of horse racing that really kind of disappoints me. And I'm surprised there aren't more fans that aren't talking about this. We understand it's a business. We understand everything is motivated by money, which for better or for worse, I think has kind of played the horse racing industry in some essence. But we're not going to get a chance to see a skip away type of horse potentially ever again for an extremely long time unless there's owners and connections that want to race their horse beyond their three-year-old season they're not in it just for the breeding fees and they actually want to see what their race horse can actually accomplish especially when it comes to grade ones 38 grade ones competing in in a lifetime winning 12 of them that's a decent percentage and then finishing in the top three 33 times. I mean, that consistency on top of the amount of grade ones shows why, to me, again, Skip Away is still one of the most underrated grade one horses of all time. One of Skip Away's most unforgettable victories came in the 1997 Jockey Club Gold Cup at Belmont Park. He put on a jaw-dropping performance, winning by a massive 10 lanes. This remarkable triumph further solidified his status as one of the all-time greats. But it just wasn't his victories that made him special. Skip Away's competitive spirit shone through in every race, and as he went head-to-head -head with some of the toughest and most talented racehorses of his time. Throughout his illustrious career, Skip Away earned numerous awards, including the Eclipse Award for Horse of the Year in 1998, and this accolade is a testament to his exceptional talent and his impact on the sport. Even after retiring from racing, Skip Away continued to inspire and impact the horse racing community. He became a successful sire, passing on his incredible genes to future generations. And there you have it, the story of Skip Away, a grade one racehorse who left an indelible mark on horse racing history, his combination of talent versatility and competitive spirit truly made him one of a kind and again i was actually able to witness this horse in person at the ohio derby i was only about eight or nine years old and my dad was actually able to get me a poster of one of his finishes in the ohio derby that i had in my room uh for years and that's what really got my love uh kick started into horse racing and uh, despite knowing the issues that gray horses have when it comes to the health related side of things grays have become some of my favorite just because of how magnificent it was to witness a racehorse a thoroughbred like skip away in person thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video hopefully you enjoyed i want to do more of these with some of my other uh favorite racehorses over time as opposed to just doing the the cliche of just whatever racehorse was extremely popular i just want to kind of go into detail about horses that i felt were special uh and my reasons why i felt they were special racehorses um over time Thank you guys so much again. I appreciate the love and support you've shown on the channel. And if you're new, subscribe because I will be doing more of these type of horse racing videos uh, in the future. Thank you, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.